Once upon a time, there was a little ogre named Shrek, who lived with his parents in a bog by a tree. It was a pretty nasty place, but he was happy, because ogres like nasty. On his birthday, the little ogre's parents sat him down to talk, just as all ogre parents had for hundreds of years before. Listen, son, you're growing up so quickly. Growing up bigger by the day. Although we want to hear, the rules are very clear. Now you're seven. Now you're seven. So it's time to go away. Your mama packed a sandwich for your trip. Your papa packed your boots in case of snow. You're, You're gonna, gonna make us proud. No backing up allowed. Just keep walking. Just keep walking. And, and you'll find somewhere to go. It's a big, bright, beautiful world. With happiness. And every dream comes true But not for you It's a big, bright, beautiful world With possibilities everywhere And just around the bend There's a friend or two But not for you your ugly son, which means that life is harder. No! No, no, no. People hate the things they cannot understand. And when they look at us, they tend to make a fuss. Burn our houses down and chase us off our land. That you find a cozy cesspit A place no one would ever dare to tread And, and if, if they, they happen by Make sure you terrify them. them If you don't sign If you don't sign Then you'll surely wind up dead And so, the little ogre went on his merry way, and wherever he went, 
crowds would welcome him with festive torches and hatchets and fun things like that. But whenever the little ogre tried to join in the fun, his new friends would suddenly realize they had other things to do. So the ogre did what his parents had told him to. He found a perfectly rancid swamp, and there he stayed for many years, all alone, but very happy with how his life had turned out. Ah, come on. Not again. Bears and unicorns take your fluffy fun and shove it where the sun don't shine. I prefer a life like this. It's not that complicated. Sure, I'm fated to be lonely and I'm destined to be hated. If you read the books, they say it's why I was created. But I don't care. Does be. It's grossly overrated Who needs a big, bright, beautiful world? I've got my own little part of the world It's not a big, bright, beautiful world But it's mine Me from the pond. They broke my magic wand. 
And granny dress and called me a hot and tranny mess. Sugar plum fairy! Story of my life! Booty from the ball! The party's up! find you back in the kingdom, you will be executed. Oh, Notice. Yeah. Oh, really? Well, not my problem. Now you all need to turn around and go back where you came from. Go back. We can't go back. Farquaad will turn us into brat first, eh? Oh, the guy's bad news. Hey, maybe you could talking to him, huh? Yeah. He'd listen to you. <laughs> You're big and scary. I'm also an ogre, which means I stay on my swamp and avoid large crowds. Or haven't you read the stories? Ha! <laughs> you mean those uh, stories that say that I'm a big bad wolf? Oh, uh, and the ones that say I'm a wicked witch. <laughs> <laughs> or, or the ones that say that I'm a wooden boy. <laughs> what, I'm not a wooden boy? I have a glandular condition. <laughs> Look here, Olga, I'm gonna spell it out for you. We don't want us here any more than you do, but you are the only one tough enough to stand up to that no-god flim flam a fuck one. Tough enough? You don't even know me. <laughs> Attention all fairy tale things. Your welcome is officially worn out. I'm gonna go see this Farquaad guy right now and get you all off my land and back where you came from. Ah! Time to say goodbye, time to say farewell. Time for you to fly, it's the pretty swim. Gosh, I'm gonna cry, time to say goodbye. I'll be right back. Time to say goodbye. Hey, don't get comfortable. Oh, God, don't touch my feet. Stop that dunk! 
Donkey. Yeah! Hey, how you doing? Hi, right, Shooter Mobile Shaw. Oh, 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 Step aside, Ogre, and let us at him. Why, what did he do? I don't want to die, I don't want to die. He's a talking donkey, a freak of nature, as are you, you unsavory beast. Hey, no, you're going the right way for a smart bottom, you are. Uh... Hmm. By the order of Lord Fuckwatt, I'm authorized to place you both under arrest. <laughs> under arrest, eh? This is the part where you run away. <laughs> and don't come back! Can I just say, that was incredible! Man, they were tripping over themselves to get away from you. I like that. Oh, good, I'm glad. Now, why don't you go celebrate your narrow escape with your friends? But I don't have any friends. No, there's a shocker. <laughs> say, you lost or something? No, I'm just trying to figure out the best route to Duloc. Oh, Duloc? <laughs> I know Duloc. You gotta let me show you the way, because I am like a GPS with fur. I'll be fine on my own, thanks. Oh, but nobody's fine on their own. Not when you look like we do. Hey, didn't you hear what they said? Man, this place is going Stepford. We gotta join forces. Otherwise, they'll lock me up and I cannot go back in a cage. I don't know if I mentioned this or not, but I did six years in solitary for impersonating a pinata. <laughs> oh, that was really scary. And if that don't work, if you don't mind my saying, your breath will certainly get the job done. Listen, little donkey, take a look at me. What am I? Really green? No, I'm an ogre. You know, grab your torch and pitchforks. Does it not bother you? Nope. Really? Really, really. Oh. Damn. I like you. What's your name? Shrek? <laughs> Shrek, huh? We well, you know what I like about you, Shrek. You got that whole, I don't care what anybody thinks of me thing. I like that. I respect that, Shrek. You all right. Hey, 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 you gotta let me go with you. You don't know what it's like to be considered a freak. Well, maybe you do, but that's why we gotta stick together. No, no, don't speak, don't speak, don't speak. Just hear me out. I might surprise you. I'll be a friend when others despise you. Don't roll your eyes. Stop with the moping. You need a pal. My calendar's open. I'll bring you soup when you feel congested. I'll bail you out when you get arrested. I got your back when things get scary. And I'll shave it. When it gets hairy, don't let me go, no. don't let me go, don't let me go, oh, 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 you need me, you need me, I'll treat you right and never act shoddy, if you kill a man, I'll hide the body, what do you say, you're not responding, I think we're bonding. Don't let me go. Don't let me go. Don't let me go. Oh, 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 oh. You need me. You and me. We belong together. Like butter and grits. Like kibbles and bits. Like yin and yang. Sturm and drang. Like ing and chang. Attached at the hip. But not an old lady hip that might break. I'm gonna be on you like a fat kid on cake. Um, now, now, now. Like Cupid and Psyche. Like Pop Rocks and Mikey. We'll stick together like that Velcro stuff. I'm the fuzzy side, you'll be the spiky. Ooh, like little kids in pajamas with those funny things at the bottom. You know, feeties. Like donuts and... Oh, what goes with donuts? Donuts and diabetes. Don't let me go. Don't let me go. Don't let me go. Don't let me go. Me, please, na 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 na, please don't let me go. I need you, I need you, I need you, I need you, I need you.
need you, I 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 need you. Don't let me go old, go old, go old. Don't let me go. Okay, look, only because I'm lost, you can come. <laughs> On one condition, you keep the jabbering to a minimum. You got it. No jabbering, man. You will not regret this. Too late. Now, that's what I'm talking about. Shrek and Donkey, two stalwart friends off on a whirlwind big city adventure. Oh. Right. Yes, I'm ready. Bring in the cookie. <laughs> <laughs> As fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm that gingerbread man. <laughs> Look what you've done to my legs! <laughs> You're a monster! I'm not the monster here. You are. You and the rest of that fairy tale trash poisoning my perfect world. I know I haven't gotten them all, so tell me, where are the others? Eat me! <laughs> oh. No, 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 no. I've tried to be fair to you creatures. Now my patience has reached its end. Tell me, or I'll. No! Not the buttons! Not my cup drop buttons! All right then. Who is hiding them? <laughs> okay, I'll tell you. Do you know the Muffin Man? The Muffin Man? The Muffin Man! Yes, I know the Muffin Man who lives on Drury Lane. Well, she's married to the Muffin Man. The Muffin Man! The Muffin Man! She's married to the Muffin Man! <laughs> We have scoured the land tirelessly, and have finally found the one treasure you most seek! <gasps> A pretty pony? Huh? No! It's the magic mirror, sire. Oh, well, what are you waiting for? Bring it in and take that cookie to the swamp! The swamp is yeah. the place where they best mirror! Mirror, mirror on the wall, is this not the most perfect kingdom of them all? Now, yes, Duloc is a wondrous land, but there's one thing you forgot. You are not a king, my liege, and so a kingdom this is not. Ah, uh, Thelonious, you were saying, hmm? uh, What I mean is you're not a king yet, but you can become one. All you have to do is marry a princess. <gasps> Go on. So just sit back and relax, my lord, because it's time for you to play Duloc's fastest growing date show sensation. This is your one! <laughs> Yay! Now let's meet today's eligible bachelorettes. Bachelorette number one is a mentally abused shut-in from a kingdom far, far away. She likes sushi and hot tubbing anytime. Oh her hobbies include cooking and cleaning for her two evil stepsisters. Please welcome Cinderella. Oh, I love the broom. Yeah. Bachelorette number two is a cake-wearing girl from the land of fancy. She may live with seven other men, but she's not easy. <laughs> Just kiss her dead frozen lips and find out what a live wire she is. Come on, give it up for Snow Eyes. Oh, 
she's in Tupperware. Bachelorette number three lives in a dragon guarded castle surrounded by hot boiling lava. Oh! But don't let that fool you. <laughs> she likes pina coladas and getting Ooh, caught in the rain. Yes. Yours for the rescuing, Princess Fiona. Okay. 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 So will it be Bachelorette number one? I don't know. Bachelorette number two. Ooh. Bachelorette number three. Oh, they're all so nice. I don't know. Boys, what do you say? One, two, three, one, three, one, one, three, two, three. There's no four. I'll run it. <laughs> Bachelorette number three. Hmm? Lord Farquaad, you've chosen Princess Fiona. Princess Fiona, she's perfect. <laughs> Except for that dragon and lava thing. I'll have to find someone else to goo. You know, I should probably mention this little thing about the princess that happens at night. I will make Fiona my queen, and Duloc will finally have the perfect king. Uh, yes, but after sunset. Yes, silence, silence, Captain. Round up your men. Summon the citizens, Thelonious. Tell the royal coiffure I'll need my hair pressed. We're gonna get a queen. <laughs> <laughs> but you didn't even look at my special features. Check this out. I've got extras. Fiona's Portrait Gallery, The Story of the Curse, Deleted Scenes, Wanna Know More? Just click on Backstory, and you'll get to see the princess when she was seven years old. Fiddling girls, it's story time. There's a princess in a tower. Oh my gosh, that's just like me. Poor Rapunzel needs a haircut. But the witch won't set her free. She passes time by singing like someone else I know. As years go by, she sits and waits. As years go by, uh-oh. Torturous existence. I don't remember this part. She wishes she were dead. Skip ahead, skip ahead. But in the end, Rapunzel finds a millionaire. The prince is good at climbing and braiding gold. I know he'll appear Cause there are rules and there are strictures I believe the storybooks I read By candlelight, my white knight And his steed will look just like these pictures It won't be long now, I guarantee Day number 23 Shorty's on the scene. Skip ahead, skip ahead. But in the end, the princess wakes up with a start. The prince is good at kissing and melting snow. Did I do that? Cut the villains, cut the vamping, cut this fairy tale, cut the peril and the pitfalls, cut the puppet and the whale, cut the monsters, cut the curses, keep the intro, cut the verses, and the waiting, the waiting, the waiting, the waiting, the waiting. The waiting. But I know he'll appear, though I seem a bit bipolar.
Card along the road. Punch buggy! Mm. Oh. <laughs> uh, fun, right? No! What kind of insane game is that? Haven't you ever been on a road trip? No. Man, you need to get out more because punch a buggy! Mm. Oh. <laughs> I got you. I got you with that wagon full of hay over there. Donkey, if you do that one more time... See, that's another reason why you need me around. Who else is going to fill you in on all the fun stuff you missed out on? You may not know it, but you are one lucky... Don't old... fucking... <laughs> Ow! Martin cars at three o'clock. Mother <laughs> Hubbard, that hurt! You know, you're right. That was pretty fun. Shall we play again? No, that's okay. You win. <laughs> Maybe we should move on to I Spy, or I went on a picnic, or something that's not going to put me in a body cast. Donkey, look! Lord Farquaad's castle. Didn't I tell you I'd find it? <laughs> it's a bit much, isn't it? Do you think he might be compensating for something? <laughs> oh, forget it. Welcome to the Celebrate Do Long Festival! The show's about to begin! Hey, hey, you. Okay. you I'm not gonna, oh, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna oh, eat you. Yeah. I just want to ask. Oh. This place is weird. Let's just find this Farquaad guy and get out of here. Oh, I want to stop by the gift shop and get a t-shirt. We're not stopping for t-shirts. Welcome to Dulac, such a perfect town. Here we have some rules, let us lay them down. Don't make brain stay in line, and we'll get along fine. Dulac is a perfect place. Please keep off of the grass, shine your shoes, wipe your... Terrific surprise. Once upon a time, this place was infested. Freaks on every corner. I had them all arrested. Hey, nanny, 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 no. If you had a quirk, you didn't pass inspection. We all have our standards, but I will have perfection. And so, and so. are looking up here in Duluc. Just take a look. The things I'm cooking up here in Duluc. He likes to cook. A model that amazes. A plan with seven phases. Bum, 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 bum. Things are looking up here in Duluc. They're looking up in Duluc. The ladies all look swell. The men are so dashing. Thanks to my new dress code, the fashion's never clashing. 
Hey, nanny, 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 no. This castle I had built is taller than the cliff tops. A city like a postcard, a monorail and gift shops. And so, and so, and so, and so, and so. No one from the gutter in Dulock. Embrace the cookie cutter in Dulock. The upshot is enormous when you can shout. Informers! Yes, things are looking up. Here in Dulock. Hey, let's hear it for those Dulock dancers. Aren't they terrific, huh? moment you've all been waiting for, the raffle drawing to determine who will have the honor of setting forth to rescue the lovely Princess Fiona from the fire keep of the dragon. Spin that barrel! Uh, excuse me. Whoa! Oh, no, come on. No, 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 don't leave, no, don't leave me. No, no, no. Hey, ma, are you Lord Farquaad? Maybe. <laughs> does the name strike fear in your heart? No, but that little hat does. Well, who let this thing in here? Look, I'll be out of your silky hair as soon as you give me my swamp part. Your swamp? Yes, where you dump those fairy tale creatures. News flash, Ogre, that oozing mud pit is actually within the province of Duloc. Therefore, under my jurisdiction... Now look here, half pay. Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait. Ah, uh, minute. Oh, this is too perfect. What is? You, you're big and hulking and... Wonderfully expendable. Mm. People of Duloc, we have a winner! <laughs> Congratulations, Ogre. You've won the honor of embarking on a great and noble quest. Oh, but we're already on a quest. Forget my swamp bar! Yes, and you've nearly accomplished it. All you need to do is one more simple little task, and I'll hand over the deed to your swamp. And what exactly is <laughs> this little task? Well, there's just this... This package that I need picked up? <laughs> oh, Miss Duloc. <laughs> Fill them in and show them out. My people, your queen is on her way. Things are looking up. Things are looking up. Things are looking up here in Duloc. Here in Duloc. And no one's gonna bring me down. Ah! 
Little task, my hoof. Rescue a princess, fight a dragon man, we got jacked. We? I don't remember inviting a donkey on this leg of the journey. I don't get it, Shrek. Why didn't you just make him give you your swamp back? Oh, pull some of that ogre stuff on him. You know, throttle him. <laughs> Lay siege to his fortress, that whole ogre trip. For your information, there's a lot more to ogres than people think. Hmm. Example? Example. Okay. Ogres are like onions. They stink. Yes. No. Uh, uh, they make you cry. No. Oh, oh, you leave them out in the sun, they get all brown, and start sprouting little white hairs. No, layers. Onions have layers. Ogres have layers. Uh. Onions have layers. Oh, you get it? We both have layers. Oh, you both got layers. <laughs> but you know, not everybody likes onions. <gasps> parfaits! Everybody likes parfaits, and they have layers. Have you ever met a person who said, hey, let's get some parfaits? And they'd be like, hell no, I don't like no parfaits. <laughs> parfaits are delicious. I don't care. Ogres are not like parfaits! Parfaits might be the most delicious thing on the whole damn planet. <laughs> you know, this may turn into the longest day of my entire life. Uh oh, I got the perfect remedy for that. Oh no, I'm not interested. Sing a song, yes, the travel song, when you gotta go somewhere. Cause the fun is getting there. Yeah, oh what the heck, I must confess, I love a road trip! Sing a song, hit the trail. Forget the maps, forget the guides. Before you know it, you've made strides with me. And I know all I need all along is a path and a pal and a song. So I'm singing and I'm palling with you. Ha <laughs> ha, see? Makes the time go by faster. Why me? Why me? This is nice. Tell me what was my crime. We are strolling. That chatty has a parent more annoying than a mime. Hey, look at cat who's wearing boots. That's crazy. Why me? Why me? A simple answer would be fine. Mm, this is good cardio. Won't someone please send me a sign? Oh, look, a sign. You need a pal avenue straight ahead. What did I do to deserve this honestly? This ass of mine is asinine, why me? Oh, you see the little bunny? Ah, uh, he looks delicious. Oh, no, God! Ah! Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> That's so funny. I just got that he might be compensating for something joke. <laughs> Move! Finally, the bridge to the dragon's keep. Let's go. Uh, uh, Shrek, um, remember when you said ogres have layers? Oh, I... Yeah, well, I got a little confession to make. Donkeys don't have layers. We wear our fear right out there on our sleeves. You can't tell me you're afraid of heights. Uh, no. I'm just a bit uncomfortable about being on a rickety bridge over a boiling lake of lava. <laughs> 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 Oh, wow! Oh, that is so interesting. Because I happen to have the perfect remedy for that. Oh, you do? What are you doing? Sing what? a song, yes, a travel song. That's what you've done all day. Not funny, Shrek. <laughs> Before you knew it, it, you're halfway with me. <laughs> Ignore the fire and the peril and the lava. What? And I know all I need all along. Let me off, let me off. There's a pal what? and a pal and Stop a song. It. So I'm singing oh, no. and I'm palling so with you. All right, fine. <laughs> Why me? Why me? There you go. Why God? Oh, why? Just don't look down. I'm too old to wet myself and much too young to die. Oh, oh I'm looking down, Shrek. I'm looking down. Okay. This is it. This is where I find it. Okay. Say goodbye, Shrek. I'm going to heaven. Oh. Okay. Just 
Fred Cole, I'll pull you up. Are you crazy? I've got your hoof. I'm not gonna drop you. Oh, oh shit! What did I do to deserve you, my pal, evermore? We crossed a bridge together. What a beautiful metaphor. I feel, I mean, I travel with you. That'll do, Tom Key. That'll do. Shrek, was that you? Man, you gotta warn somebody before you just crack one off. <laughs> My mouth was open and everything. Believe me, Donkey, if it was me, you'd be dead. It's brimstone. <laughs> You're right, brimstone. Don't be talking it's the brimstone. I know what I smell. I wouldn't know brimstone. Didn't come from no stone, neither. Oh, hey, look! Oh, oh, oh this will come in handy. Hope it's fireproof. All right, now you wait here. I'll be back in a bit. Ah, uh, well, wait here? You mean by myself? Unless you'd rather come slay the dragon and rescue the princess. Uh, no, I'm good. Waiting's fine. I'll just sit here and twiddle my hooves. Just don't get into any trouble. Oh, what kind of trouble can I get into? I'm just sitting and waiting. Pfft. Have a little faith. Shrek. Shrek! Shrek, is that you? Oh, dragon! Well, hello, gorgeous! Is it dinner time already? Ooh, I better get my recipe box! Recipe box? What's your name, pumpkin? Oh, mommy! Oh, what a coincidence. That was his name, too. And his, and his, and his. Wipe your feet. Oh, I didn't see, I did not see no open house sign. Is this a trick or treat? A little help here. <laughs> you need to brush up on fairy tales, friend. Cause dragons like their sleep. Go on and grab some shut eyes. I wrote the book on fire breathing. Why don't you read it and see? Oh, I'm reading a book club. We're reading the end of the ashes. I'm gonna shake you. I'm gonna bake you. I'm gonna make you a donkey pot pie. What? I'll take you. I'll consecrate you. I'll dedicate you. A donkey pot pie. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. My, what big teeth you have. They're so sparkling white. I bet you hear this from all of your food, but you must bleach at night. Is that a hint of minty freshness? Oh, I am scared to death. I like a girl with a dazzling smile and tic tac on her breath. Oh, 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 don't kill me, lady with the pretty teeth. Gonna love you and take hold of you. I'll velvet glove you. Velvet glove? My donkey pot.
I got one of the snoozers. Wake up! <laughs> Are you Princess Fiona? I am. Oh. Awaiting a knight so bold as to rescue me. Uh, oh, yeah, 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 that's nice. Now let's but go! Wait, Sir Knight, I have long awaited this day, and I wouldest first like to knowest the name of my champion. Um, Shrek. Sir. Shrek, I pray that you take this favor as a token of my gratitude. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, thanks. So, uh, where's the door? Uh, there is no door. <laughs> what do you mean, there's no door? How do we get down? Why, the same way you got up. The same way I... Oh, come on! I just go... All right, let's go. No, hold us on, Sir Knight. Don't you want to savor this... Moment, it beeth our first meeting. It must be a wonderful and romantic scene. Ah, oh, jeez, I'm like a crackpot magnet. This is how a dream comes true. This is how I pictured you climbing in to rescue me. This was always meant to be. That's lovely. Now hop on. This is how the scene must go. You standing Whoa. there, the light just so. Then you smile and gaze at me. Take my hand on bended knee. Bended knee. Bended knee. Ah. Oops, sorry. And though we've only met, somehow I always knew it would look like this. When dreams come true. Hey, what are you doing? Well, I have to save my ass. Well, easy. I'm in heels. Brave Sir Knight, slow down a bit. Shut in, girls are delicate. I've longed for this my whole life long. Now you're doing it all wrong. Down a rope, a steed awaits. That's what every story states. Riding over rough terrain. Past the dragon you have slain. You have slain. You have slain. It's on my to-do list. What? Oh. You can... But the real trick is getting him to shut up. Oh. 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 Are you there, God? It's me, Fiona. Let's pray. More running. This way instead. Cha la 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 la. Go ahead. In the end, remember all your dreams come true. Hooray! Yeah. Pretending I'm not here, nothing more to fear. Yeah. Pink ponies, happy sky, pink ponies, happy sky. I knew this day would come, 
and you would find your way. At last, my dream comes true. I knew, I knew, I knew it would be. I'll admit, but thy deed is great, and mine heart is pure. I'm eternally in your debt. Uh, ahem, ahem. And where would a brave knight be without his noble steed? <laughs> All right, hope you heard that. She called me a noble steed. She think I'm a steed. <laughs> well, Sir Shrek, the battle is won. You may remove your helmet. Um, no. Why not? I. I have helmet here. <laughs> Please, I wouldst look upon the face of my rescuer. Oh, no, you wouldn't. <laughs> but how will you kiss me? What? That wasn't in the job description. Maybe it's a perk. No, it's destiny. A princess is rescued by a brave knight, and then they share true love's first kiss. Uh, with Shrek? Oh, oh, you think that Shrek is your true love? <laughs> wow, wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. What's so funny? <laughs> well, well, let's just say I'm not your type, oh, okay? Of course you are. You're my rescuer. Now remove your helmet. Look, I really don't think that's a good idea. Just take off the helmet. I'm not going to. Take it off. No. Now. Okay, well, easy. As you command, your highness. You're an ogre. Oh, you were expecting Prince Charming? Well, yes, actually. Oh, no. I'm supposed to be rescued by my true love, not by some ogre and his pet. Oh. Well, so much for noble Steve. You're not supposed to be an ogre. Princess, I was sent to rescue you by Lord Farquaad, okay? He's the one who wants to marry you. Oh, well, then you. why didn't he come and rescue me? Good question. You should ask him that when we get there tomorrow. Tomorrow? Oh my gosh, it's almost sunset. So? Oh, uh, I didn't realize it was so late. We need to make camp. Camp? But you've just escaped. Yes, and I found the whole ordeal quite exhausting. I need to rest immediately. That's unfortunate, because we're going to keep going. I need to find somewhere to camp right now. Very well, there's a cave right there. Oh, Shrek, that is no place for a princess. No, it's perfect. Well, gentlemen, I bid thee good night. You want me to read you a bedtime story? Because I will. I said good night. She seemed nice. By day one way, by night another, this shall be the norm, until you find true love's first kiss, and then take love's true form. And this is what I realized. If we escaped a dragon, man, we could do anything. Hey, I could be a steed. Oh, or I could work the crusade circuit if I wanted to. I could even be one of those horses that pulls those wagons full of beer. I'd have to get some hair extensions on my ankles, but I could do it. Who do you want to be? I don't want to be anyone. Just for fun, though, who would you pick? I wouldn't. No, but if you had to. Don't like, like if a guy had a sword at your throat, and he was like, look here, you can't be an ogre anymore. Pick something else. Then, who would you pick? I'd pick that guy up and hurl him into a tree. Man, you are no fun at all. You know it? Is this what it's going to be like when we finish rescuing the princess? Us sitting around our swamp all day doing nothing? Our swamp? Donkey, there is no hour. There's no we. There's just me and my swamp. And when I do get back, the first thing I'm going to do is build a ten-foot wall around my land. You cut me deep, Shrek. You cut me real deep just now. What's your problem, anyway? What you got against the whole world? I'm not the one with the problem, okay? It's the world who seems to have a problem with me. You saw how that princess reacted. That's how it always is. 
People take one look at me and it's all, oh, I'll help a big stupid ugly ogre. <laughs> they judge me before they even know me. That's why I'm better off alone. But you know what, Shrek? Oh. When we met, I didn't think you was just a big, stupid, ugly ogre. Yeah, I know. So there's really no one else you'd rather be? I guess I'd be a hero with sword and armor clashing, looking semi dashing, a shield within my grip. Or else I'd be a Viking and live a life of daring while smelling like a herring upon a Viking ship. I'd sail away, I'd see the world, I'd reach the farthest reaches. I'd feel the wind, I'd taste the salt and sea And maybe storm some beaches That's who I'd be That's who I'd be Or I could be a poet And write a different story One that tells of glory And wipes away the lies Into the skies I'd throw it The stars would do the telling the moon would help with spelling And night would dot the eyes I'd write a verse, recite a joke With wit and perfect timing I'd share my heart, confess the things I yearn And do it all while rhyming But we all learn But we all learn An ogre always hides An ogre's fate is known an ogre always stays in the dark and all alone. So yes, I'd be a hero, and if my wish were granted, life would be enchanted. I saw the story say, of course I'd be a hero, and I would scale a tower to save a hothouse flower. I'd carry her away, but standing guard would be a beast. I'd somehow overwhelm it. I'd get the girl, I'd take a breath, and I'd remove my helmet. We stand and stare, we speak of love, we feel the stars ascending. We share a kiss, I'd find my destiny. I'd have a hero's ending. A perfect heart. That's how it would be A big, bright, beautiful world But not for me An ogre always hides An ogre's fate is known An, An ogre, ogre always stays, stays in the dark, dark.
lovely day. The sun's so big, it hurts my eyes. But really, that's okay. A brand new day with things to do. So many plans to make. I've had six cups of coffee, so I'm really wide awake. I've always been a morning person, a morning girl. Cheep, 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 cheep. Hooray! Cheep, 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 cheep. Cheep, 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 hooray! Cheep, 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 hooray! Good morning, dear, say, have you heard? Today's my wedding day. I haven't met my husband yet, but I'm hopeful anyway. I'll wear a gown, we'll have a ball, and dance forevermore. He'll take me in his massive arms and spin me around the floor. I've always been a morning person, a morning girl. What's so good about it, huh? Can't get these rats to follow me! Well, I think you may need to change your tune, mister. Huh? Hey, look here, lady. That's my...
fellas. <sighs> well, good morning, men. Morning. Uh, Princess, did you by any chance eat a few of those funny little mushrooms by the stream? Oh, of course not. I'm just happy that it's a new day, full of promise and fresh starts. And the first thing I would like to do is to apologize for my behavior yesterday. We obviously got off on the wrong foot, and I would like to make it up to you. You what? Yes. You did rescue me, after all. So I've gathered a basket of berries for the trip, and I made you eat <laughs> a daisy chain. Oh, wow, look at these. They're beautiful, princess. Aren't they beautiful, Shrek? No. Oh. Oh, you'll grow to love them, I promise. No. Lead the way, guys. Okay. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> so that princess, do you often frolic with rats? And what if I do? Oh, I don't know, princess. German-fasted vermin, not exactly what I expected. Well, maybe you shouldn't judge people before you get to know them. Ouch. <laughs> so, tell me about my groom-to-be, Lord Farquaad. What's he like? Well, um, let me put it this way, princess. Men of Farquaad's stature are in short supply. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. But he is a little intimidating. Well, he must be. <laughs> and yet very good at small talk. What are you guys doing? Well, well, just say, just say you might want to lower your expectations. <laughs> <laughs> yes, like three feet or so. All right, all right, all right. Yuck it up. It doesn't bother me. Not today. After a lifetime of misery, things are finally going my way. Oh, oh, oh. lifetime of misery. <laughs> right, okay. <laughs> you chuckled. Huh? When I said lifetime of misery, you chuckled. Did I? Yes. Uh, look. I'm sure it was very difficult living in a dragon-guarded tower. It was. I'm sure. All right, then. Although it must have been nice to have a roof and a cozy bed, which is more than I had when I left home. You're not actually comparing yourself to what I endured. I'm just saying you don't corner the market on unhappy childhoods. There are things you don't know, you know? About me. About how rough I had it. What, you run out of shampoo a couple of times? <laughs> I mean about my life! In that cushy tower of yours! Cushy? Are you kidding? I had nothing in that tower Fighting boredom by the hour Princess lonely, walking circles I had only Bare essentials, army cot, a hot plate and a chamber pot And every morning I would boil it, no choice I had no toilet, just a view of devastation A one window isolation in my bedroom And very little headroom, twenty years I sat and waited I'm very dedicated, on the walls the days were added Luckily those walls were padded So I think I got you beat, I think I got You think so? That was a sad story, but I've heard better. I'm just saying, A for effort, thanks for playing. Sad to see a princess suffer, but I had it rougher. Like that time a mob with torches burned my britches. See the scorches, they're just whiny. I had a flaming hiney. As I fled, I had to wonder if I were torn asunder. Would an ogre go to heaven? Did I mention I was seven? So, I think I got you beat, I think I got you beat, yeah, 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 I think I got you beat, I think I got you beat, yeah. No warm regards, no Christmas cards, and every day, what's hell on earth day? Away. 
It was my birthday. I was sent away on Christmas Eve. Oh. Fair essentials were oh, being hung on my daddy chamber pot, and every morning I would toilet. No choice, I had no toilet. Just and a view of devastation. One thing of isolation in my bedroom and very little bedroom. Twenty I years I sat and waited for my daddy. Better out than in, I always say. Just gotten word, my liege. Princess Fiona has been rescued. She's on her way. <gasps> on her way. She's on her way, and so am I. <laughs> my fairy tale princess. <laughs> I always said I'd be king, and now look, the last adorable piece to my master plan. Ooh. <laughs> oh, ba da 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 da. <laughs> 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 Mm. Thank you, Thelonious. Mm. Pina colada. <laughs> oh, just think soon they'll be writing books about me instead of those disgusting little freaks. Ooh, that reminds me, O'Meara. Yes, my liege. How are the wedding preparations coming? Hmm? All in order, my lord. We've booked the cathedral <laughs> and the band. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah! Wow. Um, although I did wonder if you wanted to maybe invite your father. My what? Well, your... your father, my liege. <laughs> you mean that horrible little man who tried to keep me down my whole life? That maltempered monster, that vile grunt who abandoned me in the woods as a child? Oh, well, he did have his reasons. Mira, please. <gasps> My father simply couldn't accept that I wanted nothing to do with the family business. <clears throat> that lowly, dirty family business. My daddy was a miner, so he wasn't much around. Foraging for diamonds, a life spent underground. Daddy didn't talk much, he barely said hello. He simply muttered, hi-ho. And off to work he'd go. Daddy was grumpy. Me and my old man, a tale as old as dirt. A bitter distant father in a tiny undershirt. Daddy up and left me, left me good as dirt. 
dead. Now he lives in squalor, sleeping seven to a bed. <laughs> you abandoned me in those woods, Daddy. Well, I crawled out and up. Oh, if you could only see me now, Daddy. I'd invite you to the wedding, but you have to be this tall to get in. <laughs> Be is gorgeous, her wedding dress designer. The guest list will be major without a minor minor. Packs of royal lackeys playing violin. Strings of royal underlings. Who will not let you in? Aha, aha, aha. Tricked up carriage. Tricked up carriage. Twenty stallions. With the coachman named Raoul. Reception with a boy band and a royal DJ by the pool. Yes, I can see my future, and so it shall be done. It's total domination with some torture just for fun. Because <laughs> I will have my wedding and I will have a queen. Once I get that crown on, you will get the guillotine. I'll punish you, Dad, because I'm all grown up and bigger than you'll ever know. You're gonna pay, Daddy. It's any day, Daddy. I'm off to work. Hi-ho! Are you okay? Uh, yeah, I'm fine. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you who were here. What? Uh, oh. <laughs> Would you look at that? What is it? It's. It's Duloc. Oh, Duloc. I didn't realize we were so close. No, me either. Congratulations, Princess. Your future awaits. Yes, it does. Oh, well, so much for that batch of snothers I was going to make us. Snothers? They're traditional ogre campfire snacks, a little bit like s'mores, but instead of marshmallow and chocolate, we use squirrel gizzards and mulch. Oh, they just melt in your mouth. I think I need to sit down for a minute. No, no sitting down. We need to get the princess to do luck. Well, wait, Shrek, I... Oh. Well, look, I may not get another chance to try one of those snothers. Oh, you eat one, you may not get a chance to do anything. Sip it, Donkey! I was just thinking that maybe Dulac could wait until morning. Morning? Well, why not? I've spent my whole life without true love. What's... what's one more night? All right. <laughs> <laughs> I'll find us some dinner. I'll get the firewood. <laughs> oh, I'm oh, my so gosh, sorry. I'm so... Was... Did you want to... Every... I didn't... Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> There's something going on around here. I've been watching and the signals are clear. A nervous laugh and she brushes his skin. <gasps> the sweaty palms, the big dopey grin. Mm -hmm. With a giggle and a flip of her hair, I smell the pheromones in the air. Making goo goo eyes over their food. They need my help here in setting the mood. Oh, you don't believe love is blind? Well, I got some friends who think otherwise. And here they are, direct from my imagination. Watch your step, girls. You gotta turn up the heat, you gotta butter the pan, you gotta make a move. Don't be afraid. Reach 
for her hands, maybe give her a kiss. She's waiting for a move to be made. You got to, got to, got to, got to, got to. You gotta make a move. You gotta make a move. You gotta make a move. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. These smothers are so good. Did I tell you? They're delicious. And a little nutty, right? I guess I'll be dining a little differently tomorrow night. Maybe you could come visit me in the swamp sometime. I'll cook all kinds of stuff for you. Swamp toad soup, fish eye tartare, you name it. I'd like that. Shrek, I know you can't hear me right now. But if you could, I'd want to say a few things to you. I'm in your corner, buddy, but you've got to tell this girl what you're really feeling deep down. You may not get another chance, so just go on now. Just open your heart and... Uh, princess? Here we go. Yes, sir. Ooh, he's gonna tell her. I, um... Uh... Oh, I can't take this. Well, I was... Uh-huh. I was wondering. Okay. I was wondering. Spit it out. Are you gonna eat that? Uh-uh, what is wrong with you? You got to make a move. You got a shift and ticky you. You got to buckle down and give it a whirl. The scene is set right out of a book with a sunset and a beautiful girl. So you got to, got to, got to, got to, got to, got to make a move. You got to, you got to make a move. Isn't this romantic out in nature with the fireflies and that big old beautiful sunset? Sunset? Oh my gosh, sunset. Oh no, I mean, um, uh, sorry. It's late, it's very late. What? Wait a minute, I see what's going on here. You're afraid of the dark, aren't you? Yes, that's it, I'm terrified. You know what, I better go inside. Hey, don't worry, I used to be afraid of the dark too until I, um, oh, no, wait, I'm still afraid of the dark. I'm so sorry, I have to go. Oh, all right. Good night. Good night. Uh-uh. No, sir, I'm sorry, but I did not come this whole way putting up with you and your body odor just so you could let her walk away like that. What are you talking about? Hey, I'm an animal and I got instincts. <laughs> and you two were obviously digging on each other. Oh, you're crazy. I'm just bringing her back to fuck one. Uh-huh, so you don't have any feelings for her at all. <laughs> Look, even if I did, what, what? and I'm not saying I do because I don't, she's a princess. And I'm... An ogre? Yeah, an ogre. She needs to know. Hey, where are you going? To get more wood before your fire dies. Princess. Princess Fiona. Princess, where are you? Princess, it's very spooky in here. I ain't playing no game. Oh, oh, no, oh, no, 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 it's okay, it's okay. What'd you do with the princess? It's okay, I am the princess. It's me, in this body. Oh my God, you ate the princess? Can you hear me? Keep breathing, I'll get you out of there. Okay. Princess? What happened to you? By day, one way. By night, another. This shall be the norm until you find true love's first kiss and then take love's true form. That's beautiful. I didn't know you wrote poetry. Donkey, it's a curse. I've had it since I was a girl. A curse? A witch cast a spell on me. Now every night when the sun goes down, I become this. This horrible, ugly beast. All right, calm down. You're not that ugly. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, you are ugly. 
But you only look like this at night. Shrek's ugly 24-7. <gasps> Wait a second, that's perfect. Perfect donkey. If Lord Farquaad finds out I look like this, he'll never marry me. So? So I have to kiss my true love. The kiss is the only thing that will break the spell and make me beautiful. But, you know, you're kind of an ogre. And Shrek, well, you got a lot in common. Shrek? Yeah, if he knew all this, I think oh, maybe no, no, he no, would... wait, wait, he can't know. And you can't tell him, not a word. No one must ever know. Promise you won't tell, promise. All right, all right, I won't tell him. But you should. Man, I know when this is all over, I'm gonna need a whole lot of serious therapy. Princess? I... How's it going, first of all? Good? Good for me, too? I'm okay. Um, I picked this flower Right over there Is where it grew And I don't really like it But it made me think of you Because it's pretty Is what I'm trying to say and you are all so pretty that I like you anyway. So please accept this flower with its petals and a stem, which represent my feelings and tells you how. Oh man, I'm in trouble. When words fail, what will I do? When words fail, how will she know how I feel? When words fail, will I fail too? Hello, fair princess. Oh, look! The moon is out tonight. You remind me of that moon because it's big and bright. And by big, I don't mean chubby. Obviously, you're not fat, but your personality is biggish, is what I meant by that. Sorry about that fat thing, I'm on the hefty side myself. I have to blame the gene pool, which reminds me of... Oh, where am I going with this? When words fail, what will I do? When words fail, how will she know how I feel? When words fail, will I fail to? Do I have a snowball's chance? Are my prospects just too grim? I spend my life stuck in the mud. Now I'm crawling. Out on a limb. If words fail, she'll know what I mean. If words fail, she'll just take my hand. She sees me like no one else has. If words fail, She'll understand. She'll understand. I can't think about Shrek. Not now. I'm a princess, after all, and look at me. I mean, really, who could ever love a beast so hideous and ugly? Princess and ugly don't go together. That's why I can't stay here with Shrek. My only chance to live happily ever after is to marry my one true love. Looks can be deceiving, but feelings cannot lie. Do I love him? 
Last night I was uncertain, but this morning, this morning, this morning. Shrek, thank goodness there's something I have to tell you. You don't have to tell me anything. I heard enough last night. You heard what I said. Every word, especially. Who could love such a hideous, ugly beast? But I thought that wouldn't matter to you. Yeah? Well, it does! Oh, right on time. Princess, I brought you a little something. Fiona, 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 Fiona! Whoa, plastic horse. There we go. Princess Fiona. As promised. Now, about my swamp. Cleared out, as agreed. The deed has been put in your name. Yeah? Now, well, step away before I change my mind. Forgive me, Princess, for startling you. I am Lord Farquaad. Lord hmm? Farquaad, forgive me. <laughs> for I was just saying a short. Hmm? Farewell. Oh, that is so sweet. But you don't have to waste good manners on the ogre. It's not like it has feelings. Hmm? No, you're right. <laughs> it doesn't. <clears throat> oh, Princess Fiona. Beautiful, fair, flawless Fiona. <sighs> I ask your hand in marriage. Will you be the perfect bride for the perfect groom? Lord Farquaad, I accept. Nothing would Excellent. Make... I'll start the plans for tomorrow we wed. No! Hmm? I mean, why wait? Let's get married today, before sunset. Oh, anxious are we. <laughs> oh, you're right. The sooner the better. There's so much to do, Captain. Right ahead. Tell him it's a code red. We'll be married by sunset. Oh, man, there is nothing like a good night's sleep. Oh, what did I miss? <laughs> Fare thee well, ogre. <laughs> Shrek, 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 what are you doing? You're letting her get away. Look, there's something you don't know. I talked to her last yeah, night. I knew you talked to her last night. You two are great pals, aren't you? So why don't you follow her home? Oh, but Shrek, I want to go home with you. I, I told you already. I live alone, my swamp, me, nobody else, understand? Nobody. But I, I thought... I'm going to build me a wall. i make it ten feet high. See you later, pal. Bye-bye. No one getting in, so don't you even try a ten-foot wall. But check, it's not what you think. Just let me explain. I'm gonna build me a wall. I'm gonna disappear. What's the matter, pal? Am I not being clear? Can't I take a hint? Am I getting through it all? Just get out of here. I was told the world would despise me. So I should have known. I should have guessed. I thought these two might be different. Well, now I know they're just like all the rest. I'm going to be what they want. I'm gonna be what they see. Hey, well, now do it your way. You're looking for a monster. It's your lucky day. I'll be what you want. What a fool to think she might love me. I open my heart and let her walk through. Prince Charming, I wanted my home back. How lucky both our wishes came true. Gonna build me a world, the perfect place to hide. Hey, will stay on your side. The best way to conquer, they say, is to divide. Gonna build a world, gonna be what they say. Gonna hide.
when you think life can't get any worse, you get evicted from a swamp. Yeah, I really thought that ogre was going to help us. He still might. Maybe if we all close our eyes and clap really hard. Oh, grow up. I won't grow up. You're 34. I need a shave. Oh, oh yeah. Am I wrong? Where to now? Forty miles north, they said. There's landfill with our names on it. Oh, <laughs> Fluffy butts and do something. Oh, but you know, that's what I think. You know, we mean that. Wait, 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 wait! Now, look, maybe that ogre wasn't the answer, but something better will come along, and we have to wait for it because that is what fairy tale creatures do. We wait for miracles. We wish upon stars. <laughs> well, my cricket always told me. Oh, would forget been... that cricket. If he was so smart, he would have seen that wing shield coming. <laughs> Oh. No, 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 we just need to lay low until this all blows over. Who no, knows what happened if I were a real boy? Why can't I be a real boy? We weren't so freaking strange. They made us feel that way. But it's they who need to change. The way they think, that is. That's my yeah. problem. Yeah, that's right. It's time to stop the hiding. It's time to stand up tall. Say, hey, world, I'm different. And here I am, splinters, no. Splinters, and Let your freak flag wave. Let your freak flag fly. That's what I'm telling you. Never take it down, never take it down. Raise it way. Furry fist. Papa Bear, Papa Bear. Yes, I'm a child the world. I'm a Scientologist. Scientologist. I did some time in jail. Yeah, yeah. I smell like sauerkraut. Woo! I'm gonna shed my house cold. Oh. This thing you work it out. Let your freak bad way. with teeth and claws and magic wands and together we can stand up to far quad never take it down raise it way up we've got magic we've got power who are they to say we're all all the things that make us special
I would think you of all people would recognize a wall when you saw one. Well, I thought a wall is supposed to go around my swamp, not through it. Oh, it is around your half. See, that's your half. This is my half. Oh, your half. Yes, yeah, yes, my half. I helped rescue the princess. I did half the work. I get half the booty. Back off. No, you back off. You stubborn jackass. Smelly ogre. This is my swamp. Oh, there you go. My, my, my. Me, me, me. Well, guess what? Now it's my turn. So you just shut up and pay attention. You are mean to me. You insult me, and you do not appreciate anything I do. You're always pushing me around or pushing me away. You're so wrapped up in layers, onion boy, you're afraid of your own feelings. Well, if I treated you so badly, why'd you come back? Because that's what friends do. They forgive each other. Go away! There you are doing it again, just like you did to Fiona. All she ever did was like you, maybe even love you. Love me! She said I was ugly, a hideous creature. I heard the two of you talking. She wasn't talking about you. She was talking about her staff. Someone else. She wasn't talking about me? Well, then who, who was she talking about? Oh, well, uh, no, sir. I ain't saying nothing. You don't want to listen to me, right? Right? Donkey. No! <laughs> okay, look, I'm sorry, all right. I'm sorry. I guess I am just a big, stupid, ugly ogre. Can you forgive me? Hey, that's what friends are for, right? Right? Friends? Oh, friends! Oh. <laughs> so, so what did Fiona say about me? What are you asking me for? Why don't you just go ask her? Donkey, do wedding! We'll never make it in time! I know someone who could help! to the I do's. Just... Uh, yeah, go on. Go on, yeah. Right. Mm. Well, then do you, Lord Farquaad, take Princess Fiona? I do. And do you... I do. Yes, I thought you might. Mm. Well, then, by the power vested in me... Shrek! What does but... he want? Really, it's rude enough being alive when no one wants you, but showing up uninvited to a wedding? Fiona, I need to talk to you. Oh, now you want to talk? Well, it's a little late for that, so if you'll excuse me. But, but you can't marry him! And why not? Because because he's just marrying you so he can be king! That is outrageous, Fiona. Don't listen to him. He's not your true love. And what do you know about true love? Well, I... Um... Oh, oh. Oh. Well, this is precious, huh? Mm -hmm. The ogre has fallen in love with the princess. Oh, good lord. <laughs> mm. Guards, take this abomination out of my sight. No! I mean, um. <laughs> well, let's hear what the monster has to say. It might be worth a laugh. Oh, you are awful. <laughs> <laughs> well, you heard her, ogre. Express yourself hmm? with as few grunts as possible. Hmm? Right. Okay. Ah. It's a big, bright, beautiful world. With happiness all around It's peaches and cream If a dream comes true Awkward! A <laughs> little bit. Oh, look at that. It's a big, bright, 
beautiful world with possibilities everywhere if true love is blind maybe you won't mind the view I know I'm not the handsome prince for whom you've waited I don't have a fancy castle and I'm not sophisticated a princess and an ogre I admit is complicated you've never read a book like this but fairy tales should really be updated it's a big bright beautiful world i see it now i'll let it in i'll tear down a wall and clear a spot for two to be with you Boo! <laughs> Are we ready, darling? What? Stop the what? wedding! Hey, get the wedding crashes! Stop it! Stop it! We've taken your abuse for the last time for quite a while. Hello, no more! It ends too gay! I want to the piggies! We demand our homes back! And our rightful place in Duloc, right guys? Yeah. How dare you freaks! Interrupt my wedding! Freaks, huh? Well... I guess it takes one to know one. What? Be prepared to have your mind blown. Hi, ho. Oh. Daddy, oh, Daddy. I suppose my invitation was lost in the mail. Well, maybe if you hadn't abandoned me in the woods. Abandoned you? You were 28 and living in my basement. What? No, 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 don't listen. Don't listen. Not a freak, not a freak, I'm a king. I'm a big tall man. I'm a big tall giant man with a kingdom. This is a Fiona? I wanted to show you before. Well, uh, that explains a lot. Ew. <laughs> ew, ew. Ah, 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 it's disgusting. Guards, guards, guards! Eh, all this hocus pocus alters nothing. This marriage is binding, and that makes me king. See? <laughs> As for you, my wife, I'll have you locked back in that tower for the rest of your days. No, yeah. actually, you won't. What are you doing, you insolent beast? I'll see you drawn and quartered. I am king! I will have order! <laughs> Nobody move! I got a dragon here and I'm not afraid to use it! I'm a donkey on the yet! Fiona, I love you. Really? Really, really. I love you too. By day one way, by night another, this shall be the norm. Until you find true love's first kiss, and then take love's true form, then take love's true form.
Leona! Are you all right? Oh, yes, but I don't understand. I'm supposed to be beautiful. But you are beautiful. Once upon a time, to look like us would be a pity. But now we know that beautiful ain't always pretty. All my life Lived it by the book Now I know That's not my story You Take me as I am Love me as I look Standing here In all my glory I am sweetness I am bratty I'm a princess I'm a fatty I'm a mess of contradictions on the swamp with a beautiful princess. And his best friend. And his best friend. And a gingerbread man. And a very handsome puppet. And an elf. And a very good mother. And a watch. And a cross-dressed wolf. All three things. What makes us special? 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 What makes us special?